I've experienced a lot of street harassment and <laughs> it's really crazy. Like some of the things that I hear and, and when I tell the stories to people that don't live in New York, they just can't believe like what happens here and it's really bad. It's an everyday thing, not just daily, it's all through the day, you know. Anywhere that I happen to be walking. Um, and there's a range, you know, there's a range from, you know, what they think is nice, which is like, hey, beautiful or something. But they'll still get mad if you don't respond. They're like, well, you're welcome, bitch, you know, or something, because, you know, you're supposed to be so grateful that, you know, they care. It's like, I didn't really ask you. I don't really need to give you the time. Uh, eight of you did it today. I can't stop for each and every one of you. I have places to go and things to do. I do not have unlimited time. But then if I pay attention to all of you, I'm a whore. So, I mean, what am I supposed to do here? I've given myself a curfew because I feel like there are times I can't even walk down quiet streets. Or I feel like even the quieter the street, you know, the more dangerous that it is because of the level of harassment that you receive and just the, um, I guess, the entitlement people feel like, you know, if, if, I'm, if they're complimenting you in the way that they feel is, you know, complimentary, they feel like, you know, you owe them something. And I don't know to what extent someone will go as far as what they think that I owe. I shoot their